Hello and welcome back to the channel Hell Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you've seen and if you want to see more. Coming up in this episode, NARL clubs show their own jerseys for 2022, but one club goes too early. Former NRL and Super League player comes out of retirement as he takes a player coach role. Castleford Tigers confirm signing of halfback. Catalan's Dragons are the forward for 2023. And rugby players are made of unbelievable stuff. So the NARL made a few announcements over the weekend, mostly kit related, but there was one decent announcement from one of the clubs in regards to their like, coach position. So we'll start off with the with the playing kits and what they said about it. So with VX3, the UK um, rugby sports manufacturer being the league's uh, kit supplier for 2022 and beyond, Atlanta Rhinos were the first to come out with their kit, which is a decent design, which you, to me looks a bit like the Brisbane Bronco shirt. It's quite good as well. Um, I do like that. The white, black, and yellow seem to pop off each other, in my opinion. They said that uh, they're introducing their 2022 home jersey for the upcoming NARL season. And also give a big up to the next kits that was announced as it was DC Cavalry who released their neck their kit on Sunday. What they said about it is that it is their 2022 home jersey for the oh, oh, again for the NRL season, NARL season with a big picture of the Washington Monument in the middle while recovery are the its sponsor. The next was the newest team who was sponsored by Hilton Newark Airport as New York Rugby League announced their kit on their page. They were so big to use the uh, New York skyline with the Statue of Liberty present in the middle. We'll come back to them in a few moments as they had another announcement. And on the 12th of July, Toronto Wolfpack announced that they had released their kit for their upcoming season. But later in the day, they decided to pull the kit due to issues with one, well, with other partners that they have. Energy Producers Inc. was going to be their title sponsor as the Fort Worth, Texas pit company had been emblazoned on the front of their new jersey. Unfortunately, the oil and gas producers' uh, objections have been objected to by Toronto Wolfpack partners. In a statement, they said, Toronto Wolfpack have decided to remove its jersey sponsor, Energy Producers Inks, and all ties to that sponsor, as they do not align with our ethos or that of our partners. We will release our jersey with a new sponsor in the coming days. Thank you for the support and understanding. The Wolfpack is seen as the headline act when it comes to the NARL due to their ties in rugby league in the professional game playing over in the UK RFL, uh, but are now under new management and hopefully this isn't one of those instances that they get remembered for rather than the, get the product that they're going to produce on the pitch. Anyway, we'll see what they bring out in the next coming days. New York Rugby League has announced that Ben Farrer as their head coach and player for the 2022 NARL season. Barra, a native of Newcastle, New South Wales, played for North Queensland and Manly Sea Eagles in the NRL, and also played for the Catalans Dragons and London Broncos during the English uh, Super League period that he played with the clubs. Most recently, Farrer has been coaching at Newcastle Knights in the NRL, uh, with both the juniors and the, and the women's team. 
on their social media and their website, NYRL CEO Justin Tucker expressed his enthusiasm to have Farah joining the club for the NARL season. It is exciting to have Ben join us, not just as a player with both NRL and Super League experience, but as someone who has been coaching the juniors and women's team. I believe he can help grow and mould the raw talents of American players and athletes who might have the same number of years of rugby league experience. I mean in the future. Farah said, I'm honoured to be announced the head coach and player of the New York Rugby League team. It is a great a position of great significance and one I'm honoured to be appointed to. Farah will not only be coaching the New York Rugby League, but he will also bring his high level of playing experience at, as a centre, fullback or 5'8 to the club, and Farah knows what it takes to both win on and off the field. I'm looking forward to bringing my playing and coaching experience to the States and help set up a club with enormous potential. I can't wait to get started, stated Farah. Having played 123 rugby league games in the top flight in both hemispheres, uh, 38 for North Queensland Cowboys, 35 for Manly Seagulls, 14 for Catalan's Dragons, and then another 36 for the London Broncos, during a career that spanned from 2007 to 2015. Been keeping on board with uh, his training, his coaching and everything like that, and being a player coach of the team at the age of 35 might be a good position to help grow the sport in the USA. And we finish off today with a couple of stories from Catalan and another news story. First of all, um, there is a bit of transfer news of an incoming at the French club, the French League Leader Shield winners from 2021 as they have announced the signing of forward Manu Ma'u for the 2023 season. The 33-year-old has made 46 appearances for the Yellow Birds since arriving from Parramatta ahead of the 2020 campaign, and the former Tongan and the New Zealand international is looking forward to the move, but is currently sidelined with a hamstring injury. Uh, he said on the move to get this opportunity to join the Dragons is a huge honour for me when speaking to Steve McNamara for some, for, and for some former players from the club I knew it was the right decision for me and my family I'm excited to join a great club like Catalans and I'll be making sure I earn the respect from Steve and his staff players and supporters they have a quality team and I want to be a part of it in 2023 I look forward to the new chapter. Chapter. Although my future is now sorted, my main focus is to finishing off strong with Full FC. Ma'u played for Tonga at the 2017 World Cup, having represented Ki the Kiwis earlier in his career. Having played 10 internationals for Tonga between 2015 and 2019, while he's played for New Zealand in six occasions. In total, he played 115 games for Parramatta, scoring 15 tries and kicking one goal uh, in his career down in the NRL. And his 46 games have seen him be a popular player uh, with the whole fans. Staying with the Catalans news, Catalans captain Ben Garcia has spoken about his relief after his right ear was successfully reattached following the gruesome injury during the Sunday's Magic Weekend clash with Warrington Wolves. The highly respected French forward was hurt in a tackle during the first half in St James's Park, which left his right ear horrifically severed. The match was televised on Sky Sports, but the seriousness of the injury was not initially apparent when Garcia was forced off. Garcia told the Telegraph Sport, I made a uh, low tackle. I think it was on Jake Wardle, and my ear was locked against a warranted, the Warrington player's hips. I had torn all the skin and cartilage, so my right ear was not attached anymore. Therefore, I took it back with my hand and asked the physio to come on before I went off. It was more of a feeling of shock than actual pain. It was a bizarre sensation. 
The popular 29-year-old was taken to hospital after the Catalan's cut doctor in the dressing room um, and the wound was cleaned against, to guard against the infection. And he went under, underwent emergency plastic surgery under local anesthesia to reattach his ear. First of all, I had five or ten stitches just for my cartilage to reattach my ear, and then I had to have all the stitches to my skin. So, it was 20 stitches in total, explained Garcia. Despite the injury, Garcia is confident that there will be no lasting damage to his right ear and could yet play in Sunday's trip to Sulphur Red Devils. I think it's pretty early to say, but I need to clean my ear every day to keep it free from infection and should know later this week whether I can play, he said. I'm just tired with having a had an operation on Sunday night, and then seeing another doctor in Perpignan Monday morning. But, in terms of my hearing, and the function of my ear, everything is good. According to reports, Gareth Widdop has completed a move to Castleford Tigers, that will see him head to the jungle in 2023. Rugby League Live understands that the Warrington Wolves halfback has signed a two-year deal with the Tigers, and will join the West Yorkshire and will join the West Yorkshire team um, on a deal at the end of his contract with the Wire. Would have played his last game for Warrington at the Magic Weekend, which many reports are speculating will be his last in the Warrington's colour, as after dislocating his shoulder in the act of scoring the Warrington Wolves opening try in their victory over the aforementioned Catalan's Dragons. It leaves the club having made 43 appearances for the uh, Wire in Super League, scoring 19 tries. The 33-year-old will continue his career with the Tigers, and is looked set to form an exciting partnership with Jacob Miller, the Wakefield Trinity halfback who is expected to sign for next season. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide as we get the word out for Rugby League. Don't forget to click that notification bell for any new videos that may be coming your way. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are of today's episode. The jerseys look good, uh, in principle, obviously, because we have uh, had to retract one uh, in the NARL. Our... Tell me in the comments below which is your favourite. Uh, ben Farrer joining the New York Rugby League as a player coach. Interesting choice. Some calibre there, who was part of the Newcastle setup. So yeah, don't see why not. He gets a head coaching role in America. Uh, there are other coaches that are now head coaches at the New Zealand Warriors that started off in America. So why not? A uh, couple of moves. Gareth Widdop to Castleford. Manu Matu going to Catalans. Tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are. Uh, all those four clubs about the moves. And finally, what's Ben Gar Garcia made of? Her ear ripped off and what's it going again? It's just got to make sure that it's clean. Beyond the plane to Salford to play against Salford. Anyway, you tell me what, what your thoughts are. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share, share, share this video worldwide. But in the meantime, please stay safe. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next episode.